N4HNH here. I continue to be amazed at the receiver in this Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP Limited. I'm listening to a soda station here on 30 meters. I've got a summits on the air station. Look at the signal. Barely moving the meter. But the filtering in this radio is just pulling it right up out of there. Listen, to that. look at this. So the APF, which is the key, turning off all the filtering. Now I'm just running with a 300 hertz roofing filter. I'll switch that here. Here's a 600. Back to the 300. But now look here, I'm gonna go back. 50 hertz width. So there's 300, that'd be the equivalent of just running the roofing filter. And then one of the greatest features in the world on these AC rigs. Let me wait till the weak one's back in there. There we go. Now what I've done, I've programmed my, my quick button here, this custom button, to automatically bring up the portion of the menu for APF width, and I can toggle it here. See, super narrow versus regular narrow. Of course, there's medium and wide. I generally like super narrow on those really weak stations. The volume cuts a little bit, as you can tell, but uh, they're very intelligible. Now, sometimes you gotta s sweep the APF just a little bit. They might not be exactly on frequency. So you can move up and down in 10 hertz increments. I think, I think she's done. That was uh, my friend K9IR up in Missouri is where she is right now on a summit. And I guess she signed out. But sometimes you'll find that moving up or down a little bit from what they said their center frequency is will bring them in just a little bit better, give you, the, give you a better peak on the audio. Anyway, thought I'd uh, shoot a quick video since I had an opportunity to show you how incredible this receiver is. Even on uh, that, that signal was almost imaginary. I have, I have chased even weaker than that, uh, literally not even moving the meter, pull them out almost as clear as if it were a practice oscillator. Just amazed by this receiver. Okay, 73 from N4 H&H. &H.